Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Molly. I'm the founder, owner, operator, everything for Lacquer 22, a small nail polish company. Um, but today we're talking makeup again, and today is gonna be my favorite lips and slash lip formulas of all time. Um, I have quite a little layout in front of me. We have some different products. Um, I do have a liner, a oil, a gloss, lipsticks, um, quite a few things. So let's get into it. All right, so starting with the first step of any lip routine, we've got some lip, well, lip liners. Um, my personal favorite lip liners are from ColourPop. I really love the creaminess of them. I love that they're a little cheap. Um, I just really know that I can depend on them. Um, so I have two shades that I'm sharing with you today. Um, and I have one that's a cool nude, one that's a warm nude. So the first one that I have showing you here, so this is gonna be um, Oh Snap. This is more of a pinky nude. And then this is BFF, a little bit more of a warm nude, orangey nude. Um, I really like both of these um, for every single day. I'm wearing Oh Snap right now. My lips are a little bit more of the pinker side. So Oh Snap is more of my my lips but better <laughs> shade. Um, and I feel like I could live life if I, only have these two and just make whatever lip combo work. Um, I just really, really love them, really recommend them. That's it. Next, going into more comfortable products, the lip glosses that we have. Um, so first and foremost, this is a butter gloss from NYX. I think this formula is really nice, really comforting, um, very nourishing and not like too much color for this specific shade. This shade right here is called Madeline. Um, it's kind of like a peachy color. Um, it's kind of just an everyday, don't have to think about it color. I do have quite a few of these in different shades. This one is definitely my favorite. This one is the most um, versatile, I guess is the right word, because I can just kind of throw it on top of anything and it's fine. Um, I really appreciate that the pigment in these are not so over the top. They don't sink into your lip lines. Um, it's, it's just a comfortable, easy to use, easy to wear gloss. The next gloss formula that I have is from Unearthly. I love these glosses so much. These are my all time favorite gloss formulas. Um, Typically for me, glosses are not something that I am either impressed by or unimpressed by. They're typically all the same, um, but the unearthly glosses really have something special in them. These are so comforting, um, very comfortable. They're thick, but not in a sticky way. So they're, they stay on the lip is pretty much what I'm saying. Um, they're always so pretty. They have either really pretty shimmer or really pretty sparkle to them. Uh, there's a bunch of different shades as well. I really love a lot of the things that Unearthly does and their glosses are just top notch. So here we have two of their glosses. This one right here is called Predator. It's from their Halloween box. It's kind of a duochrome situation. And then the more orangey one is called Psych. It's from one of the summer boxes from the past year. Um, really, I don't feel like you can go wrong with any shade that they have. Um, I just really, really love the formula. Next we have a lip oil. Now I have not been super impressed by any lip oils that I've tried, um, except for the Blend Bunny ones. Um, so this is the shade called Black Sugar. It's from their Sugar and Grunge collection that they did. Um, essentially, this is a charcoal gray kind of situation. Now, I love, love a black glossy lip product. Um, Oh, so much. <laughs> this is, I think the only, I think I have three in my collection. This is the only one that's still available. Um, I love this so much. It's also what I'm wearing on top of Oh Snap right now. Um, it just kind of adds a little bit of a muted look to whatever you're wearing. And I just really, really love it. Um, I also have the shade Squeeze from this line and I love that one as well. Definitely more of a summertime shade. It's a bright orange, um, but I, a black lip or a black lip gloss type product, one of my all time faves. Easy, hands down, I love having them. Um, I just feel like they look so fun and they're so different. 
I'm just a huge, huge fan of those. Going now into my liquid lipstick formulas slash colors that I really love. Um, I am not a bullet lipstick girl. I prefer a liquid lipstick. Um, typically, or mainly just because I overline my top lip and often with a bullet lipstick, it just is, you can see the line you know, where you overline and don't, and I just don't like it. Um, so I'm starting here with a red. Um, you have to have at least one crazy, crazy good red in your lineup. This is the Smashbox Always On Boss liquid lipstick. Look at how beautiful that is. Um, this is just the perfect red for me, I think. It's a really easy, like dress it up, dress it down red. Um, and this formula, Always On, is always on. It's it stays all day, it stays comfortable all day. Um, I have zero complaints about this collection. Going now to more of a summer specific lip. Um, this is a soft matte lip cream from NYX Cosmetics. I, I don't necessarily love the formula of these. They can be quite drying if you're not careful. Um, so you do have to be a little bit mindful with how much you're putting on. But this is the shade San Paolo and it's this bright, bright pink right here. And I absolutely adore this for summer. It is such a perfect bright in your face pink. Um, it is almost to the red category, like right there next to it. I love this so much. It's so easy to wear with nothing on the eyes, like if you just wanna do mascara and you're done, or add a liner, or maybe you actually wear eyeshadow with it. I love this shade so, so much. And this one is really old, so I probably need to just get a new one. But this color is absolute summer perfection. Going now, we have two shades from Dose of Colors. Um, so I, these are not my favorite formula. Um, they kind of flake off a little bit throughout the day, so you do have to be mindful of reapplying. Um, however, the colors are so gorgeous that I kind of look past it a little bit. Um, so these are my top two right here. So this shade is called Brick, um, and it's a bricky red. It has that brown undertone. Um, it's just a little bit different than your classic red. And then this is Chocolate Wasted. It's a deep brown. Um, I just think these colors are so, so beautiful. Um, I think they work really well in fall and winter. I love a brown lip and chocolate, chocolate wasted is just so beautiful. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan. I love those colors so much. I'm looking for a dupe of brick in a different formula that I like more, but until then, I will just handle and deal with this. These next two that I'm talking about, I adore. Um, these are both from Rare Beauty. So I have one in Courage, um, and this is just kind of a brownish light pink um, that is just, it's truly my favorite color to wear. Um, and then the second one is called Inspire. Now this one is a super, super bright orangey red. Um, I really love the feel of these lipsticks. Um, so we've got, got Courage there and um, Inspire there. I really love the feel of these lipsticks. Um, they have more of a kind of silicone feel to them. Um, so they're slippy, they're comfortable, and I appreciate that. My only problem with them is that they're more on the sheer side rather than pigmented. Um, so I do have to make sure that I overline my lips and be um, conscious with using a lip liner because my natural lip line is just a little wonky. So using a lip liner kind of helps me even that out even though I am overlining. Um, and I just feel like these always wear really nicely. This red will stay on all day. Um, and then the Courage shade. This is one of my favorite colors to wear, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. This is my second tube of it. Um, <laughs> my favorite pinky nude was Aquarius from ColourPop. They don't make that anymore, and this is the closest I've gotten to finding a dupe. Um, I just really, really love the shade on me so much. It's an easy nude for me, um, an easy daily wear, um, and it just feels good on the lips, so I can't complain. 
The last little bit that I have for you, these are the Satin Liquid Lipsticks from Unearthly. I really love this formula. They are super comfortable, super easy to use, um, pigmented. My only issue with them, and I've said it before, um, is that if you have oily skin like I do and you overline your lips, you will need to powder um, the part where you overline before you overline them. Um, otherwise the color will bleed through your skin a couple hours into the day and you know, nobody just loves that. It's just not a clean look. Um, but here are the two on the side. Got Smooch and then Eva. Um, the colors that they have, I really, really enjoy. The only issue is that the nudes that they have so this is eva and it's very very yellow toned and then they have diana which is very lavender toned neither of them look good on me by themselves um so i wish they expanded their nude range a little bit but i mean other than that the formula is still great it, they go on really well they wear really well i love that line so so much all right, well that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do you have any similar favorites to me? Any of the same brand or formulas? Um, I'd really love to know. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you next time. Bye.